Hello everyone, welcome once again to Spicy Talk with Onwadia. It's always a delight to bring you interesting and interesting content here. So if today is your first time coming across this channel, consider subscribing, give me a thumbs up and leave your notification bell on so you get notified whenever I upload a juicy topic. And for you my returning subscribers thank you so much for always coming back to support your girl so let's go straight into what we are seeing an elaborate bandit wedding an amu robber's wedding hmm. this is charles the 29 years old resident of pass hill was arrested at his residence on saturday september 24 2022 Charles and his wife, Chinonyelom Stephanie, met at church in 2012. That is to say, they have been dating for over 10 years. Okay, let's say for 10 years. While Stephanie was volunteering as a teacher's side in, in confirmation class. Their traditional wedding held in April 23, 2022 was graced by many members of the Nigerian community in Los Angeles. The elaborate wedding like you are seeing right now was followed by an even, even more lavish white wedding on July 16, 2022. And this is what we have here and this is what we'll be discussing today. Charles has been uh, arrested for over 60 robberies and Stephanie Chinonyelum, his wife, has been dating him for 10 years. So the question is... Uh, the question everyone has been sickness, asking is this does it mean that Stephanie never knew that this guy honey. has been an arm robber for 10 years oh, okay we don't know how fight. long he's been doing this but we know that this isn't his first time and he must have been doing it for a long time now is it for pressure was he doing it under durex just because uh he, he he wants to host this elaborate wedding this is what we don't even know why did this guy decided to go into such knowing fully well that he doesn't even have the money this is a 29 years old guy 29 years over 60 robbery and you know the funny thing story has it that um that stephanie is even uh, a, a a director of nursing and she ends well so how come if stephanie is earning so well as a nurse how come charles decides to go into robbery just to host an elaborate wedding in in los angeles california of course guys take a look at this haul this haul from what i gathered is nothing less than 100 grand like in dollars we are not talking about in naira here we're talking about in dollars so this haul is gonna cost so much and i mean this guy put this kind of wedding together knowing fully well that he's not earning much now another story has it that uh on linkedin that he has a profile which says that he is a substance abuse counselor at a, a detox center in los angeles can you beat that but another person said okay the, the name of the detox center is called okay bright life detox center bright life detox center and he's supposed to be counseling people who are who have been abusing substances so now if this guy if this is what he really does for a living what could have pushed him into robbery and this brings me to asking this question why is it that our people no longer care about asking questions relevant questions look at how everyone graced that wedding the higher mighty in california i'm sure a lot of people flew into the country as well elders are there and nobody did any background check on this guy it's not as if this is the first time he has robbed he has been robbing how come I mean, no one even made background check. Okay, let's even spear the people there. His parents. What about the parents of this girl? What about the parents of this girl? 
this is heartbreaking believe me that a young guy like this um opted for robbery just to 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 be noticed with his wedding just to i, I don't know what he's thinking about that will make him go into such i mean he's a young promising guy look at his age 29 29 years 29 years and the wife is doing so well and they've dated for 10 years see this is the this is why when you are getting into marriage i keep saying this in my program okay ask questions what do you do if the person watch the language if the person is looking around and trying to avoid eye contact know something is fishy and when a guy who you know what his salary is you know how what he earns for you know how the amount he earns you should ask this question how come you're making so much money this should be higher than what you are being paid what is the source of your income i want to know your business i want to know your workplace okay if this guy said he works as a substance abuse counselor why is it that stephanie hadn't even gone there i heard also that it's a lie there is a a, a a center like that but if you look closely at his name on linkedin you're gonna see that there is a little change this is to divert people's attention on that bright light sorry not bridge bright light detox center when you google it you're gonna see something like that but on the real one there is a little word and an, an alphabet that you know means that is different from his so he's using that when you type in you get the wrong one which was uh, which is his so the thing there is this lady could have as well gone to his workplace to see if truly there is a place like bright light detox center and see what he does there this is why we mustn't be carried away with everything we see on social media you see an elaborate where the only God know how many young ladies must have been tapping into this. God when, oh, I tap into this beautiful wedding. I tap into the life of this beautiful couple. Stop tapping into everything you see on social media. Not everything you see is real. Stop tapping into what you don't know. Now, I'm, uh, look at all these people dancing away, having the fun of their life, not knowing that the person they are with, I mean, is an arm robber. The person they are honoring today is an arm robber. Do you think that FBI will even spare these people? Of course, they will be on the watch list right now. All these people trading away money, dancing and, and having the fun of their life will be on the watch. They're going to watch to see their connection. If at all, they know that Charles has been an arm robber. How would they be feeling right now? How would this lady, for instance, dancing away, you know, having the fun of his of her life, and these guys, you know, dancing, making a great entrance? How would they be? Look at the money, the way people throw away money. Nigerians are so loud. We are so loud. Why can't we even tone it down a little bit? We want to host a wedding here. It has to be the talk of the town. Anywhere, everywhere around the world. Even if it's a bad day, it has to be very hot and loud. And this is why we are always on the watch list. We are always on the watch list. Because we are not, we, we don't know how to turn it down. People will make, other people will make money. Even if it's legal or illegal, they will turn it down. But not a Nigerian. It has to be very loud. And this is why they are always on the watch list. And I'm happy this is happening. Because this will help our young men learn to calm down. Not all that glitters is gold. Not all that glitters is gold. We have to be careful. Look at, just take a look at the kind of money lavished here. The kind of money wasted here. Take it, just look at the beautiful hall. I have no problem with you spending your money when you work at, hard for it. But it's not stolen money. Not ill-gotten money. Not ill-gotten money. We just have to be careful. Ladies, please, to avoid problems like this, ask questions. To avoid this kind of pro Now imagine three months after their wedding. She might, she will, not even might, she will be visiting Charles behind when he's locked up.
when he's behind is locked up in jail this lady will be visiting him there because there's no way this guy is coming out anytime soon for all I mean, let's say 68 count robberies mm -mm. this guy is going in for a very very long time what's the need for all this greed greed people can't be contented with what they have greed greed is bad Greed, this guy has all the opportunities to work in California. What are we saying? There is a job everywhere. We we'll have jobs, good jobs everywhere for everyone. So long as you're not lazy, they have job for you there. And this lady is a nurse. She's a director. I mean, she makes good money. If you know how much highly placed nurses make, you will understand what I'm saying. So it's not as if they don't have the money or it, it has to do with poverty or hunger. No, this has to do with pure greed. And when this guy is putting all these things together, I expect a young lady who is making a decent living to ask questions. Hey, bro, come on. This is too much. This hall is too expensive. How are you going to make the money? How are you going to bring the money? Where are you getting the money from? This, this is too much. Look at Just take a look. Take a look. This this is cake. Cake. I got tata. This is cake. See, see the huge cake. Oh. And she never bothered to ask any question. She never bothered to ask, where are you getting this money from? Butego Kailie, Butego Kailie, bring money, let's lavish it. Nobody cares anymore. And this is why more and more young men are getting themselves involved in crime. And ladies are also falling victims because whatever happens to your husband is going to affect you. She won't be let off the hook. She won't be left off the hook. I can I, I can imagine the pain the parents of this lady must be going through right now, knowing that they handed their daughter over to an arm robber. Like arm robber, arm robber. Hmm? All because of money. Because of money. Intimidate and putting other young men in pressure. Pushing them under pressure. For what? Hey, look at this. Look at parents who should be who should be enjoying their old age right now. Look at them. How would this man be feeling? The, 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 the parent. How would how would this man be feeling with his wife? Take a look. All they care about is to spread dollars, dollars and pounds. They don't care how the money is gotten. They don't care how the money, where it's coming from. If someone has been deleted to make this money, if someone has been robbed, they don't care. Kid for but what is our problem? Must we always be in the news for wrong reasons? Must we always be in the news for negative things? Must we? Young guys, come on, learn to tone it down. And learn to be patient. Be contented with what you have. You don't have to host an elaborate wedding. You don't have to hold the, the most extravagant wedding. Just learn to be contented with what you have. Do, do what you can do. Just don't, don't, don't go into crime. Work hard. Even when you make the money, you don't have to waste it. You don't have to. That's a saying that you should cut your coat according to your size. No, this one is cut your coat according to your material low. Because you may be very, very big. At the end of the day, you go and cut your... The, 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 your material will not be enough. So cut according to your material. Mm -hmm. Manage what you have. It's so sad that elders no longer even ask questions. It's so sad that we have elders who don't care. And what he had the dress and nobody asks his question anymore. He just he just flow with it. So long as the suitor has money, we are good to go. It's not nice. Come on, elders, wake up. People are looking up to you for wisdom and guidance and direction. Wake up and do the right thing. Stop all this. Stop all this. Everything is uh, everything doesn't have to be money, money, money. Everything today boils down to money. Ijikwego. The sad thing is a lot of guys have been put under pressure to, to, to meet up. To meet up with who? Who is setting the standard? Who is pursuing you? Who is pursuing you? Hmm? Take a look. 
okay now look at all these people i just feel for them some of, yeah a lot of them are innocent of what is happening they don't know they don't know fine but they are just here to dance eat and celebrate and of course spray money see the way they throw it they, they throw money around throw money around on a 29 years old guy you don't know his source of income let's learn to be coming down on. it's not everything everywhere they invite you to you go without asking questions eh? especially when it's a young guy like this you don't know you don't know what he does for a living this guy goes around robbing people with guns in shops supermarkets fair stations and all that he doesn't even care robbing with guns so this is not just an ordinary crime he's going in for a very long time no honeymoon sorry baby mm, stephanie no honeymoon for you no honeymoon you will be visiting your husband behind and i'm sorry it's sad i'm sorry for you but if you had asked the right question at least mounted pressure you have dated this guy for 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 10 years you should have known better should have known better anyway guys this is just their wedding i just feel like talking about it bringing it to you guys let's be careful and guided okay until i come your way again with another interesting one this is not an this is not a sweet one this is a sad one honestly don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe and leave your notification bell on so you get notified whenever i upload a new video for now i am omadia i say bye bye Thank you.